Good afternoon, Denton Knights and Denton Nation. Thank you for joining us again. We are coming at you live in the DentonRadio.com studio in the Discover Denton Welcome Center. We're really excited because Thin Line kicked off officially last night, and we've got several days left to go. So Thin Line continues through the 23rd. Make sure that you visit thinline.us to get a full schedule. Today, we're talking about one of the shorts that will be uh, at Thin Line, and that's going to be um, today. At 5. At 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we've got Ian, fresh off the plane, mm -hmm. jet setter. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Toronto. All the way from Toronto. So, um, Ian, I think that you've always been a writer then. You're, our writer, you're the writer, the director for Conspiracy, mm -hmm. which is one of the shorts. Um, and it's about an, a man attempting to... Um, solve the JFK assassination in his home. Yeah, in his a very tiny apartment. Very tiny apartment. Which just happens to be my apartment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was um. So where? Tell me a little bit about where this was filmed because I thought it was filmed here in Ditton. It, it, well, parts of it were. I was filmed at last year's film festival. Uh, I came down here, and of course, uh, I. I'm a, sort of a lover of the conspiracy uh, theories behind the assassination, mm -hmm. and so one day I took the train downtown mm -hmm. and uh, just and I brought my camera with me as mm -hmm. I always did, and I just shot some stuff, and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it, mm -hmm. but I shot some stuff, made sure I was in it, because mm -hmm. I'm always starring my own films because I'm always available, and then uh, I don't charge a lot. <laughs> You're easy to work with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I did it here. And then when I got back home, I tried to figure out what exactly I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And in the process of it, a lot of what I shot ended, ended up not using it because it was, I think it was more comedic mm -hmm. to begin with. And it ended up not comedic at all, actually. And uh, so uh, the parts in my apartment are actually shot in Toronto. Oh, wow. So we've got a mixture of... Um, Denton and Toronto. I'm not going to tell you what you're going to see in there because you really, it's a short. And if I give too much away, I've given way too much away. But yeah, It's like seven minutes <laughs> long. <laughs> but very entertaining. I have to say that very entertaining. I was very entertained. I definitely enjoy history. I have been sucked into the conspiracy theories over the JFK ass assassination. Sure. Tell me about this character. What made you, what, what helped you create this character? Well, uh, I mean, because it's me, you can't say it's not me. Uh, <laughs> it, I guess it's sort of like the everyman guy who tries to solve the JFK, and mm -hmm. then you realize that every theory has flaws, and none of them mm -hmm. are good. <laughs> They're all a little bit flawed in the end, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and none of them quite work, and the frustration that's associated with trying to solve it, right? Mm -hmm. You can't really. I mean, it's, it's 50 years ago. It's yeah, often it's history and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, so that's sort of what the character is. Uh, and uh, somebody always said, all my films seem to have lonely hermit guy in them who lives in his apartment. <laughs> and I go, well, that's sort of me, I guess. I live in my apartment, and people say, you always shoot in your apartment. I go, well, again, I don't have to get a release or and anything like that. There's no charge, overhead charge for it. Yeah, or anything if, if like you're that. a follower of my work, you know every inch of that place. Well, and I was, I was going to mention that the, some, of your, some of your work – so there's one in particular that uh, is, is this you? I just want to make sure oh, this is you. Yeah, Ian. Yeah. This is you, right? Because um, let's see, I've always been a writer right from the time I first picked up a crayon. Is that me? Is that you? Uh, Have you always been a writer? That's absolutely. Well, was, sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you I, can read my report cards from grade one, I and they talk say, about that. Yeah. I, I can imagine you in, you know, elementary school, Ian. Well, sure. What was that like? Well, that was it. I was. I was writing <laughs> stories back then. Right. Absolutely. It was always something. And of course, I got into journalism. Mm -hmm. uh, and But as a journalist, I really wasn't that too interested in interviewing people all the time. I wanted to just write about films and mm -hmm. movies and stuff like that. Tell, tell us a little bit about some of your past work. What other things? What other, other projects that you've uh, worked on? Well, I mean, a, a lot of Canadian comedy shows mm -hmm. I worked on. I've done documentaries. I did a documentary on the guy who coined the word sci-fi, mm -hmm. Ferris Sackerman. Uh, people might know him. Uh, I work with uh, a show I created up in Canada called Liography. Ah, that's the one I uh, saw. Yeah, <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. Now, yes. people know Leslie Nielsen. Yes. Man, so uh, <laughs> he was wonderful to work with. Uh, that was... 2000? Wow. Yeah, 2000, yeah. Very impressive. 
Yeah, it was kind of cool. Well, I, in Canada, we lasted 26 episodes. That was, I was going to say, that yeah. That wasn't bad. <laughs> no, it wasn't. We got on the cover of the Canadian TV Guide. Another big, I got bought, I was in the grocery store. I bought mm-hmm. like 25 copies all at once. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Made sure you Well, that's the power of Leslie those. Nielsen, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. okay, so uh, you've always been a writer. You've always had a knack for this. T- tell me a little bit of, of, you know, what brought you into doing this kind of project if you started writing what what shifted you over to uh film well it was kind of a, a number of things uh both industries in the in canada kind of like have died out a little bit like mm-hmm. as far as a writer for television mm-hmm. and that journalism as we all know right. print journalism especially it's changing. uh it made it difficult i decided at some point after a few projects i'd uh, I'd, I'd been the writer on you know you mm-hmm. don't have much control as a writer mm-hmm. like none <laughs> and uh i decided that you know i should make some of these myself because then i if i fail i fail on my own terms and and so that's what i've been doing the last five mm-hmm. years i've been doing making ends meet doing uh journalism projects and stuff mm-hmm. like that but i on on my own i've been doing films and just sending mm-hmm. them out to festivals and uh, not really uh with an idea for making a lot of money, because you don't really make a lot of money off of these things, uh, but more just for my own satisfaction. Mm-hmm. I, I think the same thing when you're in grade one, when you have to write, you don't mm-hmm. know why you have to write, but you right. have to write. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. I just have to, like, if I see a really good idea, oh, I got to. And you elaborate on it. I, I got to do it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this this one in particular, though, you had a lot of equipment. Tell me about your equipment. Oh, my equipment is like actually filming us right now. That's <laughs> right, it right there. That's yeah. it right there. <laughs> well, actually, I'm cast and crew. This is one mm-hmm. I didn't have anybody working mm-hmm. with on. I am the entire cast and crew. So did you just use your camera or did you use cell phone as well? No, no. Uh, that's the name of my company, mm-hmm. Cell Phone Cinema. That was way we, I started out. Okay. And then I, got, I bought this and I moved up uh-huh. just a little bit. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. But the name's so cool. I didn't yeah. want to change the name. Exactly. Because right? it made me think that with some of this was some of this filmed on a cell phone and got me a little excited because you know that's that's what we have in our pockets these days. Well, I think I, th- I think it at least in the last few years I think you ca- almost can now because mm-hmm. the, the the lens on them mm-hmm. is now very good. Now the one I have has a great lens on it where mm-hmm. I can zoom in and zoom out which you can't do quite as well okay. on the cell phone but yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I I it was just a great name I thought uh, uh, and uh, uh, but I moved on. Uh-huh. But not that much. Not that much. <laughs> Because once you start getting money involved, mm-hmm. and then you start getting people involved, <laughs> and then you start losing control, yes. and then it's not fun anymore. And then it, that's true. Yeah, when it's, it's a sad story. It's a lot more fun when you get to call the shots. Oh yeah. So so tell me a little bit about your your company, Cell Phone Cinema. What what all do you do? What all do you cover? Uh oh, the types of films we make. Uh, mm-hmm. uh mostly comedies, uh, documentaries, and mockumentaries. Uh, I, I, this kind of qualifies as a mockumentary, but. Mm-hmm. You know, in the same way that Blair Witch Project's a mockumentary. It's <laughs> I hate that term. Somebody said it was like they were giving me a new term for it. Like it's it's sort of comedy, uh, no, a documentary hybrid or something. So because there's not a lot of laughs in yeah. it. But it's not a real documentary. Uh-huh. It has documentary elements. Right. But then, but what's the line? So I- is that what attracted you to Thin Line? Because you were here last year. And have you been here for... For the, I mean, have you been just here the last two years? Just the last two years. So, yeah. what attracted you to Thin Line? What I think it was uh, uh, something that was in the uh, the way they described their festival that seemed like they might be open to something that wasn't mm-hmm. quite a documentary, uh-huh. like a, a straightforward yeah. documentary. And, and they were. I mean, they have a whole program yeah. that they show it on. And the one I had last year called Welcome to Parkdale was mm-hmm. the same. So it was very much the same. So, I'm really glad that you came back. What do you What do you think? What do you think about Denton? What are the spots here that you really have enjoyed now that you've had two years or you're going with two years under well, your it's very What are you looking uh, for? I was saying to somebody earlier today that um, the film I had last year was about mm-hmm. my hometown. I'm just on the outskirts of Toronto called uh, Parkdale. Mm-hmm. These two towns have a very s- are very similar. Mm-hmm. And I said, I'm not surprised you like, yeah, I mm-hmm. got in your festival now that I've seen the town. Because yeah. it's sort of like you're in the shadow of mm-hmm. something much bigger, but mm-hmm. you have your own identity, right? Yep. Yeah. That's us. That, yeah, that's we exactly it. We like to it. be original and independent. That's and I just like everything's on one street. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> or almost well, one street. Well, we'll have to take you out a little bit uh, more, Ian. <laughs> and I hear, you got, I, hear you got a, I hear you got a white squirrel, too. Oh, we yes. We got a white squirrel. <laughs> yes, I, I think that... Um, he might I have passed th- away. One, yeah, I, I believe there's a couple of them, if I'm not mistaken, but one of them did pass away. Let's have a moment. Well, they're squirrels. Of course they pass away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes, but I, I, I only mentioned that because I've just 
finished a film, uh, 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 an out-and-out comedy mockumentary uh-huh. about the white squirrel in uh, in Toronto. Interesting. Yeah. So maybe we'll see that one next year. Maybe. I'm actually going to see go go down to the. I want to check out the. I hear you got a white squirrel memorial down on the campus. Definitely there. have to go check that out. <laughs> make sure that you capture capture that on film for sure. Well, um, thank you so much for joining us. No I problem. I really appreciate that uh, you made some time, jet jetted across across the nation, ah. and uh, made it here for our interview. Um, we're looking forward to watching you guys. There, There is a short compilation today. Um, this is the Texas premiere, so you don't want to miss that. Oh, Conspiracy at uh, 5 p.m. today. So you still have time to make it out to Campus Theater. And it's free. And it's free. That's right. All you have to do is go to thinlight. Thinline.us and register. So, uh, Ian, again, thank you for, for joining us, and we appreciate you being here. And uh, I think that uh, you guys are going to be surprised. Make sure that you go check this out because, like I said, there's a little bit of Denton in there. I'm not going to give that away. And if, uh, if you don't get to it, just drop me a line. Yes. <laughs> well, um, cell phone cinema. Uh, I'm on. Uh, I'm on the Facebook uh, under cell phone cinema. Cell phone so. cinema. We'll make sure that we add that into our comments. Make sure that we plug that link in so that if you do miss it, you can reach out to. Oh yeah, I'll, s- I'll sure. send you a link. We'll make sure. We we'll make sure you get to see it. Don't worry about that. But Ian, thank you so much no for problem. joining us, and uh, we hope that you enjoy the rest of the of the town and the rest of the evening here. We'll see you at uh, five. Uh, you will, since he is going to be in attendance, you will have the opportunity uh, for a Q and a, you'll be available for so, Q and yeah, a yeah. today. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions for Ian, please make sure that you show up and, and get your questions ready. Give him a hard one. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to solve the, the, the assassination of John. Oh, Kennedy, I think every, that's what everybody, there went everybody's question, Ian. <laughs> I do have a theory. <laughs> he has a theory. We we can we can let him share the theory at Q and A today. I think that'd be a good a good time to share that. Thank you everybody for joining us again. Thinline.us for a full schedule and again conspiracy will film today um, in the shorts at uh, 5 p.m. today. Make sure that you check out a full schedule and come back and join us because we've got a lot more coming your way here at DittonRadio.com. Well, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to check out DentonRadio.com to find new Denton artists and where they're playing next. While you're there, check out the rest of Discover Denton to find restaurants, hotels, and tons of great community events.